Yes, and we'll continue with Alt Admino Lite, um, who's an artist based, based in Buenos Aires. Um, they create installations around geometry and abstractions, which draw on art history, architecture, queer feminism, childhood animalism, and fiction. In 2009, uh, Art co-founded Pintoras, a feminist collective of painters in Argentina. And today, um, Art will introduce the feminist school of painting that she will keep developing in Guangzhou as well. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Um, so I'm going to do a new version of the feminist school of painting in Guangzhou. So now I want to show you the, the first edition. Of course, the one for the Venal is going to be special and new. Well, I'm going to start with this. This is the website. So. My work, in general, is a research between gender and geometry and abstraction. By thinking how gender is used to shape the way we think art, painting, but also aesthetics, design, architecture, from modernism to science fiction and fantasy. By rethinking how we naturalize ideas or concepts, I end up thinking about education. In 2018, Cadiz, a residency program in San Francisco, invited me to develop a project that engaged with local communities. So San Francisco has a lot of queer and feminist artists, activists, and academics. And it was a good chance for me to learn, and I started to fantasize also uh, the idea of education that I didn't have when I was at the art school. So the art school in Argentina was the one I got, has a program from the century before, so we don't even see contemporary art. It was very bad. But also, uh, like 10 years ago, feminism was a really bad word, so it was out of question out of any education plan. Um, so the fantasy of my own school was actually use painting also as a tool to rethink different subjects. So I want to show you a little bit. Well, this image from the Play C, the coloring book series I developed. It's kind of a mix of my work in terms of thinking geometry and abstraction with science fiction, with childhood aesthetics, uh, with painting also as a performance, and thinking of coloring. And then we use it as a home page. So basically, the, the feminist school of painting, it's an installation. So I took a white cube, and then I transformed it uh, with murals. Also, in this gallery, we make the triangle windows. But the idea was to transform the gallery into a sort of kindergarten. You know, that aesthetic of the childhood place where you are able to create and learn by playing. So there are a couple of elements that I rethink. One was the idea of a school. It will be great that it's not divided by age. You know how education it's divided by age in different grades, and then the concept of knowledge is based not only in the male, cis, heterosexual, <laughs> white men, but also in the adult. So the first idea was that it was all for all ages and all backgrounds. And this scene, for example, or having 
like an old woman with kids painting at the same time. And that was one of the of the bases, you know, breaking with I don't know how you say it in English, but like what the system of the society is centered in adulthood. Uh, we call it in Spanish ad adultocentrism. Yeah. Um, the other idea was that the, basically the school of painting is not telling you what you should paint or what is good in terms of quality, but uh, using the, the painting as a medium to process any information that you can have. So basically the other thing my school tried to break is the separation between theory and practice. You know, by putting together uh, that we not only learn rationally from theory, but also uh, we can learn with the body, with our hands, you know, in this kind of lateral thinking that kind of a trend to, but then how we can really learn from the mind to the hand, but from the hand to the mind. Um, that's why every class was a, a fusion of, a, the first part was theory, with a collaborator, a guest artist or activist that made a talk and presentation. We have a break and then the second part of the workshop was to paint inspired by this initial talk. So we have in this edition all these workshops based each one in a genre of painting. For example, all this is uh, online, so if you can check all the materials, the brainstorm, you have notes and the video of each class. And for example, for landscape, I had the opportunity to work with uh, Marta Kenny, and she made this amazing class analyzing how landscape in North American painting was used to erase uh, indigenous community and how that same structure uh, and composition was used also on tourism to represent landscape uh, now for example in Canada you know, erasing again indigenous uh, people and also the same structure, colonial structure, is being used to think the landscape of Mars, you know, in the special race to colonize Mars. And that was very interesting also how we can use feminist and queer theory to analyze the image that we have naturalized, you know, like this is landscape, this is nature. So basically, the school also was, is based on cooperation and not competition, because in Western education, I think all the universities and our school are more interested on, you know, put artists to compete between them and not to work together. So that was the other thing. And for closing, I want to show you, I want to show you pictures of the installation uh, without being used. So for me, it's very traditional in terms of mural. Um, This idea of rethinking geometry and abstraction uh, my take on on thinking the forms is also to give them this animal or 
a cute monstrosity too, um, a sort of animism. And the idea of the tables was also to have like the small ones and big ones, and, and all the space was also like for different bodies, if you arrive at the school in a wheelchair, you know, it's a full access. Also, the colors for me have like different references. Like the green triangle is being used uh, for protests, uh, for legal abortion and reproductive rights in Argentina, and the orange Triangle is also used uh, to protest the intervention of church in, in politics and in the government. So at the same time, like for me, it's political art, even though it's not like uh, mostly for Latin American art. Uh, this is too cute, you know, to be political. But then. This one was the version in San Francisco. Now it's another version happening in Buenos Aires at the Museum of Modern Art. And I'm very happy to get to create uh, yeah, the first edition at one show in Asia. So thank you. Thank you very much.